Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I got my Tommy Cool pickups. Um, hopefully, this video isn't too long. So, let's just get straight into it. So, first comic book I got here is the comic I'm the most excited for Amazing Spider Man 799. Very good issue. I really enjoy it. Uh, if you guys want to know where to start reading the series, because this is getting sold out, they're going everywhere. There's a major twist at the end of this. Spoiler warning. Uh, for that. So yeah, spoilers. So if you have not read this yet, go and pick that up. Basically, I have a whole video on it, so if you want to know, like, the perfect place to start, uh, especially for picking up this new stuff, either wait to the reboot or watch my video on it. I'll explain it all in there. So, here we are. Let's go. So, Amazing Spider-Man, uh, basically, uh, Liz's child kids get kidnapped and basically she has to get them back they're taken by their grandmother and yes new video quality I hope it's good um, I'm not, I haven't tried it yet and uh, hope it's better tell me in the comment section below if you like it and remember to hit that like button and subscribe my goal is to surpass 20 subscribers by the uh, end of the year. So every, all the Spider-Mans are fighting the Red Goblin. With that beautiful page. And then everyone gets knocked out. No one can fight him. He's too overpowered. Spider-Man gets injured in the last issue. And he's going to cause like ruckus to the entire world. Like literally, no one is safe. So all of the Spider-Man and all the Spider-People and everybody is trying to stop this guy. And none of them can do it. Sorry, I got too close to the camera there. Basically, Anti-Venom uh, tries to stop him, right? And he kind of does. But he knows he can't do it by himself. And so he calls in the regular Spider-Man who is injured. Which really isn't very good. And... Literally, the Red Goblin's this freaky, creepy weirdo that it's like a psychopath, and he wants to kill everyone. And he's like, oh, Flash, you almost there, because he's the anti-venom, right? And Flash is the anti-venom, and who is a good guy, by the way. And he's like, uh, so the Red Goblin is just like, too easy, like taking candy from a dead baby. I mean, he's a psychopath. So he stops anti-venom. He doesn't live very well. Well, he lives, I hope, but... Yeah. And then the Red Goblin terrorizing. He grabs Normie Osborn, who is uh, Norman Osborn's grandson. And this is a major twist, so if you don't want to know anything about this, you might want to turn off the video, because this is the biggest twist I skip to where we talk about the next issue because this is a ginormous twist. So basically, Red Goblin's supposed to die in 799. Uh, and it's like, oh, this is going to end now, right? He grabs Normie Osborn, and Harry Osborn's like, whatever you're thinking, don't. Leave my son out of this. Take me instead, Dad. He, he's like, sorry, Harry. You had your chance to join him up. With your old man, I think it's time to move on to the next generation. Hee hee hee. Welcome to the family business. And uh, basically, what happens... He takes from the Osborne and turns him into a freaking another Red Goblin. So even if the original dies, he'll live on. And basically, screw up the entire Marvel Universe. And these issues are going to be more significantly valuable. Especially if the Red Goblin comes into the uh, MCU. Just go ahead and put this in the bag. So, crazy issue, but they're all super, super good. I really enjoy them all. Every Amazing Spider Man has been really good. Um, kids, if you're watching, remember, they can be a little. Um, bad at times. Not bad, but like. You're good? 
but I wouldn't recommend them for like little kids, like borderline nine to ten years old. Next for Batman. It's, it's a super beautiful cover. Probably one of the best Batman covers that I have in single issues. And this is probably the best Tom King Batman I've read. Well, close, yeah, no. So yeah, coolest poster ever. Um, I'm gonna say that every time I film on my face. So it starts off with this cool opening with uh, Green Lantern. And it's got this incredible splash page with Booster Gold. Like, seriously, it's incredible. Booster Gold is one of my favorite DC characters. He's so cool. And, by the way, this video is high quality. Well, not high quality, but better quality. Tell me in the comments below. And uh... Anyway, so Booster Gold's looking for Batman. And his little dude is just like, no, man, that's not a smart idea. And he's just like, you know what, man? No, I'm, I'm going to do it because I'm a savage. So he finds Batman, and he learns that, uh, so basically, he's at his, uh, parents' anniversary, and norm, uh, basically what happens is Bruce Wayne, like, you know in the old Spider-Man comics, how, how it's like, I thought Aunt May was here, but I, all I see is Madonna, and it's just like, ugh, it's top of the corniest, and he's like, what was I supposed to do? Father made a promise, made me promise to ask for the for the hand of the prettiest girl in the room, and he's like, you're as corny as he is. And I'm as lucky as he is. So yeah, that's the one, that's a uh, Bruce Wayne there. And Booster Gold comes in, he's just like, hey, Bruce Wayne, I'm freaking, I got a present for you. And then, he's just like, Oh, wait, what? Batman and Catwoman are gonna have a freaking party? A wedding? And so he's just like... And so, uh, Booster Gold is asking for the help to stop all this ruckus, and he smashes Skeets. And it's like, this doesn't seem like Bruce Wayne. I feel like this is a fake, because Bruce Wayne wouldn't do something like this. I feel like this is just a fake. Because it's his best friend, and he just smashed it. So, I don't know uh, where this is going. I don't know if I like where it's going. Tom King has been pretty weak on writing Batman, uh... It's not as good as I was hoping. I'm not gonna drop it though because I'm um I'm not collecting any other DC books, so I just dropped Supergirl for it and I really enjoyed that series. So I'm gonna pick up Batman because otherwise I feel like he would be kinda being rude to the comics. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below. We're gonna see if we can get to 20 subscribers. I know we can do it. So bye!